This judgment is so old and the fight so new in court that this man's only choice may be to pay the $65,000 to support a child that isn't his and who he's only met once last year. Gabriel Cornejo came to Harris County Family Court hoping he wouldn't have to leave common sense at the door. I've never thought that in my life I would have to defend myself of something that I'm innocent of. Corneo is a father. He's raising his three kids and two of his brother's children. But last year tells us a deputy showed up at his door with court papers claiming the state of Texas thinks he has another child. She turned out to be 15, 16 years old at the time, I think. Cornejo claims he never knew and pretty much immediately set out to meet his then 16-year-old daughter for what he says was the first time. It's a wonderful girl, very smart, just a lot going on for herself. He, his wife, and the ex-girlfriend he broke up with 16 years ago all agreed he should get a DNA test, and he did. Well, the results came in, and I'm not the father. But that's not the end of the case, not even close. Cornejo's ex still wants the money, and so does the state of Texas. In 2003, Cornejo's ex-girlfriend went to court and said Cornejo was the only possible father. The state of Texas got what's called a default judgment and started assessing child support payments, which continue to add up, now totaling nearly $65,000. Cornejo says he was never told. Court records suggest, but don't prove, he got a subpoena way back when, and he denies it. Lawyers for the mother of the child suggest support was taken from Cornejo's paycheck long ago and Cornejo never fought it. That can be enough to establish a Loctite claim that Cornejo should have dealt with this long ago. Don't stick your head in the sand because it's not going to go away and there can be consequences even if you don't do anything. Unfortunately, this young child is the one who suffers. Unless he and his lawyer can convince a judge to take a second look, there's nothing that can change the old court order and Cornejo will still owe all that money. They say he should have fought it back then. He failed to do so. Uh, he didn't do so within four years. But how can you fight something you don't know anything about? The case will be back in court later this summer. In the meantime, Cornejo is pushing for a change in state law that could prevent situations like the one he's in. Ted Oberg, 13 Eyewitness News.